20 years in the business. I've never known anything like that. I've never known anything like that. I'll be better when I've had my training. I mean, you've only got to do is to call at a house. Just hasn't been one of Say my days. Say a few words. Anyone can do it. I've been very worried about the coal shed door. <laughs> Mr. Lewis, it's about the lift. I've had harassment after harassment. Wait a minute! <laughs> Will you put that away? Yes. Right, now you see, we've cannibalised A lift in right. order to get B lift going with those pots. That could go right. right. But we can't get A lift going together until we get the spare parts we need. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Spencer. <laughs> My God, he's flattened. He's probably gone right through the floor. <laughs> What's left of him? Well, lift it up, then. Lift it up. Lift it up. you want to think about me? <laughs> oh, yes, Mr. Spencer, I'll think about you. I doubt if I'll ever think about anything else. <laughs> about the lift. I was saying, about the lift. Oh, well, I can see you're busy, but I'll just get my clothes. Now, look, it's going to be difficult because I can't this is get... my letter of resignation. I've had enough. Look, we've got to go right. time off with it. now. You won't be hearing from me again except through my solicitors. Yes, all right. Mr. Lewis. Mr. Lewis. Goodbye, Mr. Lewis. Yes, all right. Look, we are in the hands of the spares department, you understand? Yes, all right. Goodbye. Yes, no, all right. We're giving a proper going over tomorrow when we get the new equipment. I won't stop. All right. <laughs> you should be safe for today, providing some raving lunatic doesn't start mucking about with it. <laughs> Mr. Spencer! <laughs> I want overtime for this. That's another 30 minutes. Well, you shut up. Well, we'll try it again. Good morning. <laughs> I represent Lewis and Company. 